Hello, my name is Shannon Kringen, and you are watching Goddess Kring. Authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll. Bada boo, bada bing, stinging rings the kring, catch the wind song spiral drive, crack the code left and right node. I wander and I wander, tripping over grasshoppers, moon haulers, key robbers. Enchanted lands, smoky hands, rough and cracked. Take this sand and stand alone, all one. I present the present, desert the desert. Exercise bring, exorcism cleanse. Shikshika. So that's some poetry that I wrote. Um, fusion drives illusion to erosion. Erosion guides fusion to explosion. You are the carrot. You are chasing capiche. Integrate the carrot. Capiche, capiche. I in minority, wishing not conformity. Reality thriving on abnormality, eccentricity, synchronicity, synchronicity. So those are some of my poems. And I painted my face and today I was in Seattle at the World Naked Bike Ride. And I'm not nude right now because I want to share this and so I can't be naked on every website. But here's me in my bikini and I rode with a bunch of other people in Seattle today in what was called the World Naked Bike Ride, which is to draw attention to the fact that it's good to ride your bike and use less fossil fuels. Some people were saying uh, more ass and less gas. More ass, less gas. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shannon Kringen. I call myself Goddess Kring. I did a TV show on in Seattle for 15 years called Goddess Kring where I danced around nude, I bought and painted myself, and I did sort of autobiographical monologues about my life and my ideas. Here is some of my artwork. I do a lot of self-portrait photography. This is a collage that I made. I am a figure model for a living, and this is a book that I self-published called Art, Identity, and the Sacred. Right now I am 46 years old and it is the year 2015. It is July 11th, 2015, exactly as I'm recording this. Art, Identity, and the Sacred. This is how art is like a spiritual practice to me. And there's many different chapters in this book. A lot of it is self-portraits. Some of it is um, shadows, reflections, uh, portraits of animals, portraits of many different things. Hand-painted shoes. Um, there's a really cool one I did of the Jaguar. Another self-portrait. This is a really cool book. Check it out on my website. My website is shannonkringen.com. I'm also known as the shoe painter lady. I painted shoes for Tori Amos a few times. Got to meet her. Here's some shoes I painted. Started painting shoes in 1986 when I was a uh, or 85 when I was a junior or senior in high school. So I wanted to catch up with you guys. Um, I'm starting this thing called the Goddess Kring Archive Project, which is I am finally digitizing uh, some of my VHS Goddess Kring videos into digital format so that I can then put them online and maybe do a best of. And Scarecrow Video in Seattle might have more of my videos available to rent. And there's a documentary film coming out called Channeling Yourself, which I am part of as Goddess Kring. And I got to do this really fun event at Scarecrow Video where I got to take Q&A from the audience about the movie. It's a full-length feature movie called Channeling Yourself. And it is about public access television in Seattle. And me and a bunch of other interesting uh, long-time show producers of different shows uh, are in that film. 
there's old clips of our shows spliced in and hopefully that's going to come out in 2016 and so I am finally starting the Goddess Kring archive project where I am trying to digitize my old shows and find the best ones. I did some very powerful monologues about my personal philosophy, about being yourself no matter what they say. I designed my tattoo, which is an abstract design, which means be yourself no matter what they say. That's kind of why I say amplified chameleon and authentic ejaculation of my soul molten orange liquid glow, meaning that it's good to be yourself and um, not let other people get you down and discourage you and I think that I've always been attracted to what is different and what is unique and I was gonna say that I had a lot of fun in the World Naked Bike Ride today in Seattle with a bunch of other people because we got to wave at the audience and it's interesting the audience the public <laughs> I shouldn't say the audience there are just people driving in the and walking in the street in Seattle and I waved at all the people and it's just kind of like it makes me kind of high doing that um I don't smoke I actually have an occasional glass of wine I used to say I don't drink I can occasionally drink red wine with dinner at this point at the age of 46 um I'm gonna go to England in uh, October of 2015 and stay with my friend who lives near Liverpool in a smaller town called St. Helens in England. I found an amazing deal on a ticket round trip leaving from Canada and so I'm gonna go to England and take a lot of photographs and maybe make some videos and uh, I make my living as a figure model in Seattle. I was gonna say I feel really lucky that my job is to be a nude figure model and when I ride in the naked bike rides there's the Body Pride ride, the World Naked Bike Ride, and the Summer Solstice Parade in Seattle where you can be nude and body paint yourself or have your, you know, just be naked in the streets. And uh, in Seattle it's actually legal to be fully nude as long as you're not being sexual or lewd and the police um, only make us put our clothes on if a bunch of people complain, but usually people don't complain. And I was going to say that uh, my job is to be a nude figure model, so I'm not worried about my boss seeing me riding a bike nude with a bunch of other people because my job is to be the naked person. I also don't, I don't shave my armpits. I don't actually shave uh, my private area down here, my pubic hair. I don't actually shave that. I do feel like... Um, People should choose whether they want to shave or not, whether you're male or female. I don't see what the big deal is about having natural natural hair. <laughs> I went gluten-free two years ago. I lost 45 pounds, uh, although I do think it's good to feel um, comfortable in your own skin, whether you're chubby or thin or athletic or overweight or whatever, although I think for health reasons it's nice to exercise and eat healthy and, and try to get fit and build your muscles up and burn your fat off, but at the same time, I think it's also good to not think of life as a beauty contest and to accept yourself as you are and love yourself, fat or thin, tall or short, old or young, etc., etc., no matter what color your skin is, etc., transgender, tra you know, all those different things, the diversity of human beings, be yourself no matter what they say, is a line in a sting song called Englishman in New York. So, there's the Channeling Yourself movie coming out. I'm going to go to England in October 2015. I'm doing the Goddess Kring Archive Project. I seem to have a bit of a psychological block to digitizing my videos, and so a friend of mine is helping me do this, and I'm hoping to start doing it myself as well, in addition, because there's hundreds of videos, 15 years worth of weekly shows that I did. What else? I was going to share... I'm just so happy that I, I'm grateful that my job is to be a nude model because when I ride in the World Naked Bike Ride, it's totally fine. A lot of people have seen me naked. I mean, hundreds and thousands of people have seen me naked and it's fine with me on the internet. Um, I've done various controversial things as well as fine art nudes and 
There's also some gossip about me online that isn't true, but there's also controversial things said about me that are true mixed in with fiction. Uh, I put myself out there, and that's what happens when you put yourself out there. You get people um, saying things that are positive and negative and true and untrue. That's the way it goes. I've always wanted to be famous. I've always wanted to share with an audience. I've always wanted to, to have a message and project it out into the world. Um, I guess my overall message is to follow your heart, to follow your bliss, be yourself, be your unique self. Everyone is like a snowflake. And uh, I also am really happy because rent is going way up in Seattle and I recently had to move again every I moved two years ago because the rent went up and they were remodeling my building and the same thing happened although my landlord gave me my deposit back and was really nice to me and I found an amazing landlord that intentionally charges less than market rate or market value um, and I found a one bedroom apartment with my own washer and dryer and my, my cat Stella passed away but I have a new cat named Kisoon and I'm just so grateful that I found an affordable apartment in Seattle and I'm safe for at least another year, hopefully two or three years. And um, I'm going to go to England and I'm continuing with my artwork. Here's my kitty Kisun. Kisun! Purr. Oh, you're so beautiful. Isn't he beautiful? He's a beautiful kitty. Okay, so there it is. So I guess I should wrap this up. So my name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring. And, uh, it's July 2015. I'm 46 years old. Thanks you, thank you for listening to me. Ooh, <laughs> I'm a little spacey. Okay, thank you. Be yourself. Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Ocean beam, come clean, come clean. Manifesting dreams. Inner energy life force come forth. So there it is. So you can check me out on... Facebook, Flickr, Twitter, YouTube, Vimeo. Uh, I have three blogs. I have a WordPress. I have a Tumblr. I have a live journal. Uh, I'm all over the web. If you just search Goddess Kring, uh, I love to travel. I'm always open to frequent flyer miles. I'm always open to random donations from fans of mine. Hopefully I'm going to put together a Goddess Kring uh, best of uh, video compilation DVD that I'm going to try to sell. Some people have expressed interest in buying a video from me, the best of Goddess Kring. So I have a P.O. box. I have a PayPal. You can donate to me. I'm always open to donations. I am. I work full time as an art model and I sell my artwork and I have multiple streams of income. And I'm just so grateful that I, f I, I found an affordable apartment. I'm going to England and I know I already said that. So, okay. Thank you for listening to Goddess Kring. Bye for now.